Urban downhill racing is quickly becoming one of the biggest parts of our sport. It's downhill racing, but in the city center, where rocks and trees are replaced with curbs and lampposts. So I wanted to check it out and compete on one of the biggest and most prestigious tracks in the world, the 17th edition of the Red Bull Serra Abajo. I hopped on a flight to South America, Chile, landed in the capital of Santiago, a two hour drive to the coast and the city of Valparaiso. I am no downhill racer, but I sure as hell a free rider. And there are some pretty big hits on this course. First things first, let's walk the track. Right, it's an hour till practice, so I thought I'd, the best thing was to come up here, do a track walk, see what it's all about, because as you can see, there's like cars coming down. Hard to believe that. I got practice on this in an hour. I've been introduced to the first obstacle. Road gap. Not so big. Noisy dogs, though. My God, you're going to be, have to be on the brake so hard here. Take a look at this. I call this dog leg corner. Oh my goodness me. This is the notorious longest straight of stairs that I'll be riding down. And to make, to make life even more difficult, look at the size of this. You have to jump in. It's like a meter and a half wide. My bars are 770 and it's flat out down there. Look, to the abyss. What is that? That is not a snake. That is dog eggs. 183 steps, straight line with a slight kink in it right at the bottom just to add extra scariness. To be honest, I am quite nervous about that. Out of a whole course so far, that is the scariest bit. Hang on a minute. We go on someone's roof. Look, we're on someone's roof. Hey, where does it go? And then you go down there into someone's back garden. Flipping horrible things, even scary to walk down, let alone riding. <laughs> Underneath the grapes, nice Chilean grapes. And then through someone's house. What? Whoa. That ceiling is flipping. Oh my gosh, look at that view. That is what you call blind. That is a blind drop. And that is the, the steepest landing. Oh, that is the steepest landing known to mankind. Hopefully Granny doesn't come out her living room and into this hallway. So you jump out of Grandma's house, then you land on this landing, quite steep. From the top it looks steep, from here it doesn't look too bad. But then this is the first bit of dirt that I've seen through Grandma's front garden. The lawn's been destroyed. Sorry, Grandma. And then you come into this, a dirt berm. Now this looks, uh, this looks nice. I'm at home with that. Not with steps, a big drop into a shark fin. And by the looks of it, because I'm only course walking, that shark fin looks like it pushes you into the wall. Let's go down there and take a look at that. It's still working on it, still welding bits to it so it doesn't fall apart when we ride it. And you're introduced to this cool shark fin looking thing. And that drops off down onto the next street. Shark fin. So I'm guessing all of this here is the landing. That's gonna come down here. Apparently there's gonna be a wall right over here. But there's no wall ride. I've got practice in like 25 minutes now. There's no wall ride. Some guy stopped and said, oh yeah, don't worry, man. We'll build this tonight. Tonight. Race day's tomorrow, mate. <laughs> wall ride, wall ride, all right. Jump out, bomb. Valparaiso is quite well known for his graffiti in this bit. Real narrow street, super cool. Look at that tiger. I'm, guess, I'm guessing it comes here. Look, there's still ramps here. This does look cool though. Maybe you do fire out of here. Well, you can't fire out of here. You hit your head on that. Maybe these ramps are to go down that street there, which is very busy. We have 20 minutes to practice. Nice quick bite to eat, and then it's time to drop in. I got like 10 minutes. All kitted up, bike set up. Plan now is to just wait for our uplift, which is gonna pull up any second. 
then we're going to jump on that and they're going to send us to the top and then we're going to we're going to session certain obstacles on the course the whole course is not fully open because the rest is pretty much flat out down the road but yeah it? a bit jittery like i'm nervous you know i don't do this sort of stuff i only you know mess around in bike parks or free ride sections but this hell no we can't ride that bit because there's no landing for that bit Seems like you landed in the landing. Yeah. It was quite chill through. It's like you rolled, huh? And he braked a bit. You think? Yeah, he went ee. Whoa. He's a really good rider. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. He's literally getting your tunnel vision because of the walls. If you're going fast and in a small area, it just feels like you're going Mach 10. So you want to brake. But you don't really want to go too short on this. I reckon I'm going to just roll in. Oh, man, this is the worst bit, man. Libre, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Remy. This is so gnarly. Yeah. Like there's so much <laughs> rubber than there. Shall yeah. I? So that's it. Three practice runs done. Let's go back to the hotel. Coming out looks all right, we're going in. You don't want to jump too wide, because it's quite narrow, that takeoff. Yeah, you could definitely mess up that, eh? Oh, yeah. I would pull hard first time on that, yeah. slow, and roll in and have a look, Yeah. and stop on this takeoff. Look how close them cables are. So you don't want to land in the middle? No, like, what I feel like, if you kind of land in the middle or high, you're going to go low. Lower there, and then... So what you want to go is like, in the bottom and then went high wherever you want. Oh, so you okay, can keep yeah. going high or just yeah. go middle. Yeah, I oh, get it. No. like, oh, come you yeah. high too soon. Yeah, you, you just drop low. down. Line choice, it's key. <laughs> Survival is key. Yeah, <laughs> survival is key, yeah. <laughs> this is the last drop. Look at this cable. I feel sick, man. Right, top section done. Now this is the section we ha Oh my gosh, he crashed so hard. It's so slippery, he skidded up. I'm, he nearly went off the freaking drop. No lie, that was so damn freaking scary. Right, let's go and look at this obstacle that's just been built for us. Um, top section, super fun after practicing. I quite enjoyed it. Uh, now the nerves kick in, because this is quite a big feature. You can't hit this thing too far. No, you can't. What's the gap like? Looks okay, you just have to pop. Oh, pedal off it? <laughs> what? It doesn't look too bad. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh. It looks real, Rob. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That's real gnarly, that bit, eh? You need to be like in the middle and then go up. Or go high, like here you did. And you pop out too close to the yeah, crowd, I mean, there. Like, from low to high is the best.
This is the top of the course. This, my friends, is where qualifying happens right now. I'm ready. I've done a few good run runs. I feel all right, I'm a bit nervous. I just know that I am not a downhill racer. So I'm gonna get down this hill as fast as I can within my own means. There's no room for error, for sure no room for error. Like if you go off track, finished. And you have to hit every single obstacle. If you don't hit an obstacle with both your wheels, both tires, you're disqualified. So you know when you're just about to drop in, you do get those nerves. You're like, right, that door's gonna open. You're gonna go through that laser beam. It's gonna beep. Everything's going crazy at the start, but when you get through into the course, you kind of start to chill out a little bit and you can start to hone in. Ready? See you at the bottom. I can hear my heart in my helmet. come true when I was a kid I dreamt about racing through the streets and look at this I'm in Valparaiso Woo! and I got the results as well from the race I got last <laughs> yes 25th I survived though if you want to see, let us know what other challenges I should do maybe another race maybe get Neil to do this event let us know in the comments down below if you want to see some more rad content don't forget to hit the globe to subscribe because you're missing out if you want to see another video and you want to stick around click over here give us a thumbs up like and I'll see you the next one. See ya!